All right, today we're going to talk about FPV antennas. And these are on 5.8 gigahertz. You can see we've got some different styles here. I just want to explain the basics. Um, these antennas um, are all pretty good performers, except guess which one is not. Guess which one of these is not a good performing antenna? That one. It works, it works, but it just doesn't have the, uh, the range or the, uh, um, I guess the, the ability to uh, uh, remain in contact with, with either a transmitter or receiver when you're flying around different positions. And we're gonna talk about that right now. So let's talk about this one, this stick antenna. Okay, so the stick antenna, it is just basically, it's a stick. It's just basically a, a stick and it doesn't, it doesn't have anything special to it, um, but we do call it, we, we call this a quarter wave uh, in the, in the, in the antenna kind of building business, we call this a quarter wave antenna. Um, that means it's it's got a quarter wave length in it. Sometimes um, these things are available in what we call half wave length. That's that's the size of the antenna. But the main thing I want to show here is how these things work. Um, these things are always on your transmitters. Well, there's some new transmitters that have internal antennas. But if your transmitter has like a little stick antenna like this. One of the first things we try to tell other other people who are flying is never ever point this at your aircraft because that the least amount of radiation is coming off of this tip if it's a transmitting antenna or if it's a receiving antenna there's you're not going to be able to receive the signal so the way the signal pattern looks on a stick antenna is is kind of like this the signal pattern The signal pattern is, is, is kind of like that, and, and you can probably you can probably imagine that. This is a stick, and the side of the antenna is going to transmit more power if it's a transmitting antenna, or it's going to receive more on the side. Why? Because there's more surface area there. This area here, like if you're pointing this up, that's a bad zone. That's bad for transmitting. It's bad for receiving. So these stick antennas are not normally good for FPV. They just don't work well at all um, unless you just happen to be flying very carefully and your aircraft did not tilt and your receiving system, you know, had a similar antenna and it was also pointed, you know, just exactly straight up. That would be okay. But that's kind of hardly the case anymore. So now we're going to go to the next antenna. Okay, um, one of the new antennas that, that's that's come out on the market now is is this one down on this end. It, it's called the Pagoda antenna, and there are a lot of people that are making these now. It's a very popular antenna. I'll explain why. These other antennas. These are also good antennas, and they have a, a really good uh, omnidirectional pattern to them, but um, there are some differences. Sometimes the manufacturer tries to make these um, to where they give you a little bit of gain. And what I mean by gain is it seems like you can magnify either your receiving power or your transmitting energy if you have a little bit of gain in the antenna. But when that's, when that's done, when you do have gain in an antenna, you're not having an omnidirectional pattern um, to either receive or transmit. And that's where the designers of this, of this Pagoda, let me get that off there. These, these guys, and, and there are a lot of people making, making the Pagoda antenna. You've probably seen, you've probably seen these things you know, it looks unusual. You may have seen some with a cover on them. Um, this is just one of the raw forms that you can get. But let's talk about let's talk about 
um, what the designers were thinking when they made this pagoda antenna. So what they what they have is they have they have a couple of uh, discs here, then they've got another disc, and then the coax kind of runs down down through the center of those discs. Then they've got the connector here. Well, um, this one is just to kind of basically keep some of the RF energy in check. It also helps to create the pattern, um, the transmit and receive pattern that this antenna has. So the Pagoda, um, this antenna is made with circuit boards, circuit board, circuit board, circuit board. And what they've done is they've discovered that they can get an almost um, spherical pattern, radiation pattern out of this antenna. So, so this, the, the pattern kind of kind of almost is, is, is it's very spherical. It's, it's, it's almost it's, it's almost a complete circle. So what does that mean? That means that if you're flying around with this antenna, you can almost be in any orientation. You know, I mean, you can be sideways, um, upside down, right side up, al almost any orientation and get the same signal strength, um, you know, back to your uh, receiving system if you have this on your, uh, um, on your transmitting system, like on your quadcopter, on your racing uh, quadcopter. So this is kind of a new thing that a lot of people are going for and you can 3D print a housing for this. You can buy a really nice little housing for it and it's quite small. This is a very very small antenna. It's It's got uh, a very good what we call bandwidth, low SWR, things like that. Um, but the main thing is is that it has a very almost totally spherical uh, radiation pattern which is kind of what you're looking for when you're racing because you're in all kinds of positions uh, you know turning sharp sometimes you're sometimes you're upside down if you're doing like freestyle um, this antenna performs very very well now it doesn't really have any gain but it has very very good performance because you may be flying around and, and if you went behind some trees or behind a building really quick um, you may have a situation where you lose your signal. This may help you keep that signal. There's no guarantee, it just depends on the situation. This may help you keep that signal because it's more, it's more spherical and it, it, just, it just helps to not to get around objects, but it just has a better radiation pattern overall. These other guys, th these are really good antennas. These, these are very, very good antennas from some good manufacturers. Um, this one happens to be a very good one. This one happens to be a very good one. Um, there are some slight, uh, this company has a slight variation. This company has quite a few variations of their antenna. And again, they, they all um, are kind of this pattern, but maybe a little bit less than spherical. These, these pagodas, they're, they're kind of, they're kind of tooting their own horn that, you know, that They've got a really, really close to spherical pattern, which helps helps transmit and helps helps receive. Now, on the receiving end, obviously you can have you can have what we call a panel antenna, and and that's going to give you uh, good range. Um, but the other thing that comes into play is the the type of radiation coming off these, and we've got what we call a right hand and left hand um, uh, spiral kind of radiation patterns. And you have to match that. If you have a, if you have a transmitting antenna that's right hand, then you have to have a right hand receiving antenna. Otherwise, you're not going to get the signal very well. So they make right hand, they make left hand in all these. Um, you just have to make sure that that you know whatever whatever you're using on your machine. That if you're using a right hand uh, transmitting antenna, you need a right hand receiving antenna. Or if you put a panel receiving antenna. Uh, on your system, you know, it needs to be a right-hand panel as well. So that'll that'll help you uh, help you a lot. Panels are very directional. They give you a lot of gain, but they're very very directional. You don't put a panel on your quadcopter, only your receiving system, and then you've got to point it at your um, your quadcopter. Um, that is, unless you use a small panel. If you use a small panel, a small panel has less gain but it has more it has it has more more width to be able to see the signal 
like a, a large panel. It's going to narrow down its visual beam for the for the signal. It's going to narrow that down. It's going to be gain. It's going to be really. It'll see something really far away. Um, but if your quadcopter flies outside of that beam, you're going to lose the signal. So in a lot of cases, the guys are putting on a little tiny patch antenna, like on their goggles um, or their or their you know receiving systems. And the, the little panel, um, it has gain, it has forward gain to pick up that signal a little bit better, but it's got a very wide pattern. So you've got more room to fly around before you'll be out of its like window that it, that it can hear that, that signal coming. And, and that's another thing that's nice about the Pagoda antenna. Again, you know, it's got this, this spherical, almost ball shaped radiation pattern. Whereas when you go to the other end of the scale and you go with this, this has, uh, imagine a donut, imagine slipping a donut over the top of this. That's what the radiation pattern would look like. The tip, that's a bad spot. That is a real bad, and the, of course the other end, the bottom is a bad spot. I've lost signal, um, I've actually lost signal on my 3DR Solo because it, you know, it comes stock with like antennas like this. And I've flown it over my head and you know, holding the transmitter with these antennas pointed up at my 3DR Solo when it's flying overhead, I lost the signal. I actually, and I, I think I was, I was pretty high, maybe 300 feet, maybe less than that, but I actually lost the signal because it was pointed up at the machine, lost it so much that it went automatically went into return to home. And of course I can, I can, you know, change the position of my transmitter and then hit, you know, hit reconnect and, and I'll be able to fly again. But, but that's what happens with the stick antenna. That's why everybody is, is trying to come up with a better antenna. So you may want to try these pagodas. They're available from almost uh, anybody. Everybody has them. They're very low cost. Um, these antennas are also available from everybody and, and they work very, very well. Um, but they, they may have a, a slightly different, uh, more slightly more squished uh, radiation pattern than these new pagodas. So uh, don't be afraid to try these. I've been I've been flying these pagodas. I've got different I got different brands. Um, and I, I think I have three different brands of these, and they all work very very well. They're all constructed well. They're very strong the way they're made. Um, I do have some where I, I bought the housings and put the housings. It's a very trim little housing that fits over it, protects it very very. It makes it very durable. So don't be afraid to try these. These are good antennas. The only thing you have to watch out for is you got to get the right, you got to get the right connector in. They make a male and a female end here, and then you also need to make sure that you get the uh, the right hand circular polarization, which seems to be the most common. Again, you just have to match it. Um, you could have somebody flying next to you almost on the same frequency with right hand circular polarization and then you could simply go to left hand circular polarization and even if you're on the same frequency if you were a little bit apart you'd probably be able to fly because the left hand doesn't like to see the right hand circular polarization so that's that's something that a lot of guys are experimenting with now especially racers because there's so many people you know that, that have to share frequencies and so they're they're trying to do that now but match up the polarization right hand or left hand and you got to match up whether or not there's a little a little pin in your connector or whether there's not male female pin so that's all you have to do give them a try they they work very very well um, I think you're going to see a whole lot more of these and the price is great. The price is fantastic on these. Uh, very low price. So, hey, just my two cents on uh, on FPV antennas. Um, don't be afraid to experiment. I experiment with, with this stuff all the time. I'm going to try to get some new information out there to you guys. So stay tuned. There will be more. Thank you.